an AFI director uh, named Gareth, I love him, he's from Mexico City, gave me the first opportunity to design an entire short film where I had to design every single tattoo on the gang members' bodies. And there are two things I wanted to be really good at, beards and tattoo application. Through that, I got the opportunity to challenge myself to draw my own things, to build my own tattoos, to have tattoos made, you know, um, and then put them onto this beautiful film that went off to, to just to soar, you know, and it's just a short. It's just a short. And I remembered you guys telling me, you know, don't underestimate the film schools. Those are the contacts that will know yeah. you for the rest of your life, yeah. and you're right. And then how did you finally get more into film, television, whatever? Well, the, the instructors at cinema were key for me. Steve Costanza was a huge one. Um, Steve taught our character class, and he brought me on my very first three or four features, um, which were his. And they were all low-budget indie movies that he needed help on, that you couldn't have union members. Um, and then when I started interning, I got several things out of that. I, I was able to work for you, which was something that was very important. Um, when you want to talk about class and decorum and etiquette, I always think of you. If I were to ever win an award for anything, I'd have to say Steve Costanza, if it weren't for you letting me work for free on that first movie and then becoming slowly your key makeup artist on some films, I would never be where I am today. And then I got a call from Lou Fong Q, because she was shooting X-Men, and she was part of Mystique's makeup team. Right. She called the school asking for a name. You know, can you recommend somebody to be a makeup PA for me? And she said, can you be at ADI in, in, at 1 p.m.? And it was like 11.30. So I was like, yes, yes I can. I can be there. And that was really the moment where my, my being a student here, my being an intern here, my learning from everyone that was here, my working for you. But what about you? So you went from your apprenticeship and then you filmed for Topaz. Mm -hmm. And then, wasn't there somebody also really special in your career? Or are you a personal to somebody that we might know? I, mean, I ended up doing, doing Witches of Eastwick. I get a call from Ronnie Myers, uh, and he said, okay, Leonard, um, what does it take for you to do Moonstruck with Cher and then do Suspect? You know, how, what, what, what money do you need? And I said, you know, it's not a matter of money. It's a matter of I'm not going to be gone from my wife, such, for six months. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, how about if we fly your wife back and forth? Wow. Making it impossible for you to say no. <laughs> so here I am. So now it's been 31 years later. Negotiation, people. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, in April, I'm going to do, uh, very possibly, do another, another film with her.